I'm Susan Feniger. And I'm Mary Sue Milliken, and we have the Border Grill Restaurants and Trucks, and we're also known as the Two Hot Tamales. And Top Chef Masters. But we're very excited. We've been working with the California Avocado Commission, and we're in full season right now. I'm coming on to July 4th. Wait till you taste this recipe. It's perfect for barbecuing all summer long, but particularly July 4th. This is a grilled turkey burger with an avocado and tomato relish, and it also has caramelized onions. But the cool thing about this recipe is that the avocados are inside, you know, tossed inside with the turkey as well as on the top. You know what's so great about that is that when you're using California avocados, they're so creamy and rich that when we put them into ground turkey, they make that actual burger so really delicious and moist. So you're gonna see. Let's get started with the onions, all right. right? So red onions have a lot of sugar in them, and when you dice them up like this, and then saute them like Susan's done with a little bit of butter, and then they get nice and golden brown. That All that sugar caramelizes. So once they get, now this might take, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Once it gets to be this gold, so it's really sugary and sweet, because this is gonna go into the ground turkey. We're gonna add the, vinegar and it's going to evaporate. Most of the liquid's going to burn off. Can you smell that? All right, now we're going to Not gonna yet. Add... <laughs> we're waiting for smell of vision Then we're going to add a little bit of cracked black pepper. And so what you're getting here is the sweetness of the onions, the spiciness of the pepper, and then the acid from the vinegar. Now I'm going to pull this off to the side and let these cool down before we add them to the turkey. Okay, so let's get started on the avocado part of the... Yes. Well, that's chilling. Now when you buy avocados in the store, you want to actually put them in the palm of your hand and just gently squeeze them to see if they're ready. They should have a little bit of give. What I don't want to encourage you to do is use your fingertips because that just makes those ugly fingerprints. And if you can really tell that an avocado is ready by just holding it. Okay, so all you need to do is, I like to cut off the stem end and then push my knife in and twirl it around on the seed. Making sure that you don't let the knife go towards your hand so that you can just circle around. I then just twist it open like that. Oh my gosh, gorgeous California avocados, I wow. Actually, I've been quartering them lately, which makes that pit come out so quickly and easily. And then you can just take the peel and it just peels right back upon itself pretty easily, exposing that beautiful, nutrient-rich, dark green part of the flesh. You see that? See this right here? That is loaded with nutrients. So make sure that you don't get rid of that. Even if you scoop the avocado meat out, just make sure you get that dark green part still in there. And then we're, what we're gonna do is just take this avocado and we're gonna dice it. Remember, this is what's going inside the turkey burger as, as well, well as on top. On the top, yeah. And now for the top part, we're gonna mix it with those tomatoes too, which is great. So these avocados, well, all we're gonna do in this bowl is take the diced avocados and add a little bit of fresh chopped oregano, some salt and pepper, of course, and a little extra virgin olive oil. So there you go, a little bit of oregano. Salt. A little bit of black pepper. And how about, I'll just squeeze a, a nice fresh lime here. Get it, roll it around to get all those juice pods ready to release their juices. This is one of my favorite things. Honestly, I, I absolutely love California avocados. I could have this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I, I think you do. I, I do, I do. It is a, a lovely way to get your nutrition, I think. It's so fresh tasting and delicious. Okay, so now we've got about, we're gonna take about half of this mixture and mix it in with our ground turkey. So one of the things that we always make sure we do is like right now we're taking this avocado mixture and putting it into our ground turkey. We wanna make sure that the avocado itself, that mixture tastes really delicious, does it, Mill? Yes. Okay, so you double check. Mm. It's fantastic. Okay, good. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna take our onions that have been caramelized with black pepper and white vinegar. Add that in there too. And you don't wanna put it in when it's hot because then that turkey is gonna get, you know, too warm. You wanna keep the mixture a little bit on the chilly side so you can make your burgers. And, and I love the flavor of turkey, but like Susan said, sometimes it can be a little bit dry. We use dark meat of turkey, but 
The avocado that's inside the burger really helps to keep it moist and juicy and really flavorful. Well, it's so interesting because you don't think about it that way, but really when you take the creaminess of the avocado and the richness of it and you put it in there, it's almost like adding an additional amount of fat, but you're actually adding A fat. vegetable fat, which is much better for you. Which is. It's monounsaturated. It's the kind of fat you like to have. And now we're gonna just make this into these beautiful burgers and grill, throw them on the grill. And you're gonna see when the oil from the avocado is released as we're grilling, it also gives this really wonderful nutty flavor that happens to the turkey burger mm. too. Mm. Yeah, this is the way to get me to eat a turkey burger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just that little one. That little one's for you, Mill. No, that's not big enough. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to take this over there. I've got a really good hot grill. I'm going to throw it onto the grill, and when they start to get cooked, and I flip it, I'm going to add a little bit of cheddar cheese. And Mill, you get the rest of the avocado mixture. Happening. Okay. So what we're going to do is take the other half of our avocados and add some diced tomatoes which um, is gonna prove to be a great topping on top of that burger when it's all cooked up and delicious. When you add avocado to another ingredient like tomato, what happens is our body, body actually absorbs more of the antioxidants and everything that's great in the tomato easier. So that's even another reason, besides the fact that it tastes absolutely perfect together. All right, so I've got some sharp cheddar cheese here. And as soon as we flip those burgers, we're gonna put the cheese on top so it melts. How's okay. that coming? Well, I've got these here. Let's are they see. ready? I think they are close. Ooh, look at those. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat them. They are really nice looking. All right, we got the buns. You know, also whenever you're, if you're thinking about barbecuing at home, and I think for July 4th, one of the things we love to do is take the buns, maybe put a little bit of olive oil drizzled on them, put them on the grill so they get this really wonderful flavor there. Yep, and then of course, if you like mustard, ketchup, but actually these, these with the caramelized onions and the vinegar and the cracked black pepper, along with the avocado inside those burgers, they don't really need a lot more than that. They, they really have quite a pack of punch when it comes to the flavor. All right, Mill, ready? Oh my gosh, yes. Those look fantastic. And you know what? I don't think any of you think about actually grilling avocados, but you will not even believe the oil that gets released has got such an amazing flavor. I better see. Mm -hmm. So, so good, so good. And then you have to top it with this, the leftover avocado and tomato salsa. And remember, you're gonna taste everything every step of the way. Right, so you've got the, the flavor of those caramelized onions with the vinegar and lots of cracked pepper as well. I think for quality Yum. control purposes, why don't we taste this I one think, just to make yeah. sure. No, it's for sure, we have to do that, let's see. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any way around it. No. Now the California avocado season starts early in the spring and it goes sometimes until late in the fall. It's my favorite time to eat avocados of the year. So if you want to get this recipe or any of the hundreds of avocado recipes that we've done, just go to CaliforniaAvocado.com. Enjoy. And Thanks for watching. Mmm. 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 -hmm.